Hello, soup snorters. Today I got a treat for you. This is Hexagon Tab. It is a new tab replacement. It's kind of like Night Tab made by the same fella, but it's hexagons. Anyways, let's get into it. So go to the first link in the description and you will see this GitHub page and you want to scroll down and you can either install the extension for Chrome or for Firefox. If you're installing it on Firefox, go down to this little link down here, setting hexagon tab as your Firefox homepage. You need to do that because Firefox is weird, but I'm on Chrome. So I'm clicking the Chrome install hexagon or hexagon tab extension, add it to Chrome, add extension, pretty straightforward. Now, when you open up a new tab, you will now have hexagon tab. Now I'm going to show you how to customize it. It's kind of like night tab. So if you're familiar with that, then this might not be too helpful. Regardless, at the bottom right here, we have plus edit and we have settings. So let's first get started with how to add a bookmark. Click on the plus button down here on the bottom right, then we can actually add a new bookmark. So first off, let's figure out what website this is going to. I'm going to put it to the PH website. You can figure out what that means. You can also turn on or off a visual element. You can actually add an icon, so you can just click on this. It'll load up and you can pick whatever icon you want. So, you know, something like that. Really descriptive. But anyways, you have icons if you need them. You can also remove them. I'm gonna stick with letters and you can also do an image. Then finally, we have apply show visual element to other bookmarks. Basically, this kind of template will be applied to every other bookmark. Doesn't really make sense for this part, but later on it'll make sense. If I go to name, you can show a name underneath it. So this could be parental hub of hubs or something like that. And it'll show a name underneath. And once again, we have this setting where if you click this, it will show the names underneath every single bookmark. I'm going to leave that disabled. Then this is the important part we need to go to address. And this is where we actually enter the address of the bookmark. So we do HTTPS semicolon slash slash www.youtube dot com slash c slash no text to speech that probably won't work because i don't know how youtube works with their links but basically you put in the link that you want the bookmark to go to then once we're done that we go to layout and this allows us to change the size of things so the you know the logo could be massive it could be small you could also revert it and you can change the name size so if i go to name this was parental hub of hubs if you go to layout you can change the size of the name so you can make it almost impossible to tell what's going on you can do a little bit of shift to move things around just keep it centered and you can also rotate which uh it just gives you a lot of customization options you can also do horizontal and vertical like that then you can change the there's just a lot of settings okay okay you go through these yourself sweetheart then you have theme now basically i'd recommend you stick with theme color theme accent but you can also have a background. So if I click show background, you can have an image or you can have a video. And thankfully, if you go to video, I have a, a couple of crazy things right here. Oh, 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 what's that? It's a little splashy boo. I'm going to put that, paste it in here. And you might notice that, wait, hold on. This is a GIF, not a video, stupid. So you pasted an image and there you go. Now it'll actually pop up with that. See, look. You already know, this is how I got the starting image thing that I had at the very start to entice you to continue watching the video. Regardless, I'm gonna leave it as that, click add, and there you go. Now you'll notice that I now have the parental hubs of hubs along with all my other icons. Now let's say, oh, I really messed it up. I shouldn't have had that animated background. That's so cool. Well, if you go to the bottom right and click on the pencil, you can actually edit. So I'm gonna edit the parental hubs of hubs go to theme, then I'm going to turn off that background. And I also need to revert the layout. So I'm going to go to layout, then I'm going to do this one so that they're stacked this way and click save. Hey, now they all look the same. Perfect. Now, also in the edit tab, you can click right or left to move things left or right. As you notice, the parental hubs of hubs was the last thing I added. So I need to move it to the left and it will move it through the tabs. It's not as nice. Like I can't just drag and move it. But, you know, may maybe in a new update. I'm not too sure. Anyways, I'm going to move it back to there. I'm going to unclick edit. And well, actually, hold on. You can also delete stuff. So you can go oop, delete the parental hubs of hubs. Remove. That's the way she goes, sweetheart. Now let's get into the customization options where we make things actually look really nice. And that's in the settings. So if you go to your settings, you have general layout stuff. So you can increase the size. So grandma's on the computer. Crank it all the way up. 
Uh, you don't want your brother playing on your computer, crank it all the way down. You know, it's all up to you. You also have the number of columns and grids, so wow, you can make, you could, you could turn it into a long snake. You could turn it into this awful vertical line. <laughs> you, you have a lot of options, okay? But there, there's a, a significant amount of adjustment. You can change the perspective, which I think is uh, quite fun. And you can also change how much it tilts when you hover over it. As you notice, there's a little bit of a tilt. If I crank this bad boy up to 200, it's literally like an Android 3D wallpaper in like 2012 that always looked like garbage and made your phone blow up and lose its battery in 30 seconds. I totally don't have a hatred for those programs. Anyways, you can also change rotation. It, it, not gonna lie, I mean, that's looking really good and really easy to use, but I would just go back to default because uh, the programmer, the coder who made this did a fantastic job. Anyways, bookmarks, you can do like grow stuff. So like, wow, look, now it makes it real easy to read. Basically, go through these settings. You can change a whole whack ton. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, wait, okay. That, that looks really good. I did something this time. Wow, that looks great. So next up is theme, and this is kind of where everything happens. This is where the, the burger gets made, some other analogy about things getting made. Anyways, you have different types of styles. You have dark mode, light mode, and automatic. I'm going to stick with light mode because I know half of you are watching this at 12 p.m. on your phone and you have school tomorrow and you want to make sure that at least you can go to bed at a reasonable time. But I'm just an awful human being and I want you to stay up for as long as possible. So mom gets mad in the morning when you get late to school and oh my god, it's going to be a huge complete mess. Anyways, if you scroll down, you have color and you can change the color to, you know, whatever. Look at that. See, look, it just things just change you can have a nice purple or, or but purple what the anyways you can change the color you can also just revert it back to normal really up to you i think having like a nice blue tint you know it's pretty cool i'm really bad with color science but anyways you have contrast and stuff wow but yeah this bar up here will basically just show you how everything's gonna look then we have accent color so as you can tell this blue and orange maybe not my favorite i kind of like a little a little pinky purple type thing Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Now at this bookmark part, we have custom accent and theme accent. Basically, if you turn on theme accent, it'll use your accent color as the shadow. So it makes it kind of look like a little glow, which would be good for a cyberpunk theme. But I'm going to stick it on custom and then you can change the color to whatever you want. And you also have different backgrounds. So you can just have a custom color. You can have an accent color. Uh, I like gradients a lot, but you can also have an image. And I had this little animation thing that I used before. And that's basically it. You have a whole bunch more settings of like blur and stuff. Just keep in mind that obviously the more stuff you add, like the more animations, the more it's going to affect your system. Obviously, you can't just have a whole bunch of crazy animations going on for free. It will have to load these images when you open a new tab. And finally, I'm going to turn this back to gradient. Then I am going to go to data. Now in the data tab, it allows you to import backups and also export backups. So let's say that this is the perfect theme that I want. I can click export data and it will save it as a backup. This includes your theme, your bookmarks and the style of your bookmarks. It includes everything. So in case your hexagon tab decides to blow up, you can always just click import data. Then you import your backup and it'll go you know, to your backup. So when you're importing in data to go back to your backup, Sometimes it won't work, so you just gotta keep on doing it. Like that's an example of it not working. So just click import data, click on it, click open. There we go. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta brute force it, okay, sweetheart? It's kind of like things in life. When, you know, when little Timmy gets in front of you in the line to get candy first, you just push him aside. You take what's yours. No, I'm kidding. That's how you get yourself uh, no friends and no life. Trust me, first-hand experience. And just like every other extension, all you need to do to remove it is just go to your extensions, go to hexagon tab, and click remove from Chrome. And finally, the nice beautiful new tab page I showed you at the very beginning to get your eyes on my YouTube video for a long amount of time, that will also be in the description in a Google Drive link that you can use. Just keep in mind, you will have to obviously edit the bookmarks and change them up because I doubt you want to go to Gmail. You don't know how to use Gmail. I get emails from some of you guys all the time and you don't know how to use a damn header line. You don't know how to make an email and have a nice signature and a send off. Oh my gosh, this is not a business professional of me complaining about this. Anyways, just add your Roblox and Minecraft bookmarks and call her a day, sweetheart. I love you very much and have a great day at school tomorrow. <laughs> Monkey, bye-bye.